Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're continuing on with our Tima UA. UA? UA? Something. Tima. Yo, I. We're gonna do a battle. Um, yeah, we're gonna fight this. We're gonna fight this. Um, because, yep, open field. And, uh, that always gives me the advantage. It's, it's gonna be pretty straightforward, I think. There's nothing too scary here. I mean, he's got some, uh, some fairly good spear guards here, but honestly, I think our axemen on the charge are gonna do some pretty good work there. He's got some. Um, archers, which will be a bit of a problem for some of our units, but I think we have plenty of archers ourselves, and just outnumbering them, I think we can collapse on these guys pretty easily, especially because they have suffered some attrition as well, um, and they certainly don't have anything in the way of uh, heroes to fend off our characters, so it should be nice and straightforward. So long as fortune shines down, we shall know glory. Keep your spirits high. We shall win. These warriors are strangers to us. Caution is wise. We shall stand amongst their broken corpses before long. Wow, this is one nuts princess. <laughs> the bloodthirsty princess. <laughs> All right then. Uh, yeah, let's um. Huh, it's a bit of a crappy formation. I don't like it. How about that? Yeah, that's more spread out. That'll do. Um, Alji can just run straight down the middle. They'll just be probably on spear guards unless they're on the edges, in which case we'll kill them quicker. These guys can just fight other Xi. Um, otherwise, for the other way around, we can strong arm the sides and uh, just have Alji fight things that aren't very good at killing, so it doesn't matter either way. I'd say whatever formation works, just because the army comps we've got, I think we're in pretty safe hands, uh, however we approach this. So, let's move up and uh, try and find the enemy. And God, this is so pretty. Ah, oh, I've missed this game. The lighting is just gorgeous. Even when it's such soft light like this, it just... Ah, oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It's these little forested areas just look great. The little cherry blossom kicking around. It's great. Ah, oh, so pretty. Just unbelievably pretty game. So, let's get in and uh, make it less pretty. Make it more bloodthirsty. Because that's what you guys are here for. You sick, sick sods you. Um, let's speed this up. Because I don't see the army yet. Oh. There's there's some spear guards. Okay, here's the army. Just get stuck in, I guess. And take a little while to approach. Yeah, I'd say we got this. Should be pretty straightforward. And uh, judging from... Yeah, it looks like those uh, shoe raiders might end up on the spear guard. So with that charge bonus so there's... Uh, 160 charge bonus is pretty, pretty good. I mean, that's almost as good as our cavalry, which is pretty crazy. They're not lance cavalry, but still, they're still cavalry, right? Um, so that's pretty, pretty great right there. Okay. Mm, I'm going to pressure him. I'm going to pressure him. I'm going to try and pressure their archers. I want them to not get the chance to get nice targets, you know. Okay, so here's some archer militia. They are splitting up, which is great. Let's get into them. Here's the enemy cav. So I start peeling off some of these guys. You lot pull back. You lot pull in. Good stuff. You guys get involved over there. And all you lot focus fire on uh, these archers for now. You keep the pressure up, you charge in, and yeah, you lot are just going to tear people apart. Perfect. So over here, things are looking a little bit iffy, but let's put up melee evasion for our nearby units, and this cab isn't going to get anything done. So this is spot on. It's exactly what want to happen. Okay, keep moving in. You go for them. Units fleeing already. Nice. And... Go for those spear guards, because they're a little bit exposed, because they're like side on. So uh, they won't get the benefit of their shields if they're being shot in the side. So hopefully we can whittle them down a bit, because they are very stubborn units. Let's go with that, uh, yeah, Jan Cavalry Sword Captain. Get him nice and surrounded. Now let's get into these archers, now that those have shattered. And yeah, they're going to be collapsing pretty quickly, I think. And, annoyingly, we can't use that melee evasion. Their uh, strategist is too close. Which is very annoying. It would be nice to add that. Let's see if we can't back up a bit. Come on. Yeah. A little bit stuck. Come on. Nope. 
Still in range, huh? There we go, we're not anymore. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. Okay, you lot. Oh, it's still that cab that isn't doing anything. Alright, you guys do nothing. Just just hang tight. Hang tight. Yeah, yeah, you keep chasing them down, that's fine. You will lose and be forgotten. And you Your lot. Words are as pathetic Get there. As I told you, you stop. Are. You press backspace, it cancels orders, by the way. Um, cool. Cool, just her then. The enemy warriors are running. Oh, I say that. Yeah, just just stop what you're doing. But yeah, everyone here. Let's get the G militia. They're still chasing people about. That's fine. They're broken. That's victory. That is victory. So, uh, we did lose a few G, but nothing major. We managed to spread the damage out fairly well across our guys, I think. Uh, so, hopefully, we will still be in good, uh, good stead for the next battle. Hopefully. Because we do have another battle. That's the thing. We've got, um, who was it? It wasn't Team Away, was it? Team, uh... It wasn't Team I. Was it Team Away? Anyway, one of them is, is... One of our brothers is here. And we need to fight him. So, uh... We'll find out here in a second. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. Always. So... Uh... They're, they're wiped out, though, aren't they? Yes, they are. So never mind. Faction is no more. Good. Uh... Yeah, team away. It was team away. Okay. Cool. I was confused because I think green because of the flag, but the character is red. So that's what was confusing me. Anyway, it Impossible. sort of doesn't matter. Uh, oh, that's team away. But he doesn't look like a special character. Is that a bug? Because that's just some random government. vanguard. That might actually be a bug. That might be a bug. Huh. Okay, we'll just have to wipe them out, I guess. We'll just we'll just have to wipe out the faction to get rid of that. Um, <laughs> no worries, because yeah, I'm pretty sure Team Away does a lot of that. Also, I think Team Away is over here, isn't he? Wait, there's two Team Aways, huh? Yeah, there's two Team Aways because he's Team Away. But I was thinking he didn't start there. He, that was weird. There was two people called Team Away at the start of the campaign. How unusual! This is just a random possible. vanguard. Never mind then. Never mind. I was right. So not a bug. Not a bug. Um, just two people with the same name. Which is plausible. That can happen. So, um, let's go with extra income from peasantry, maybe? Here, I don't want the noble support debuff. Although, it seems weird, because this uh, minus four here doesn't seem to be actually in effect. Buildings are only making people happier here. Because uh, that's plus six noble support. And that's minus, well, that's minus eight. So that does make sense. Hmm. I thought you could plus and minuses. Maybe it only tells you pluses. So maybe it does actually do the maths and just give you the outcome. So I am going to do that. I'll be on minus two noble support if I build this. But uh, I can always upgrade this again soon once we've done a reform. Which one? This one. We will have to be a prince before we can do that. We have to reach the rank of prince to get these. But we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Because uh, I think these buildings are too useful to have. The extra income from commerce and the like. Because, yeah, should earn us a fair bit of cash from that. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Uh, fishing port. Would be nice if we could turn that into a trading port somehow. But no. No, you can't, can you? You don't get the choice. Ah, oh, pity. Pity. All right, so I think we just need to end the turn and see what happens. Let's do it. Okay. Team away is attacking. It's going to be a decisive defeat. But it looks like we actually have a full garrison. And with the towers as well, and their distinct lack of fire arrows, I'm going to fight this, because I think we can do just insurmountable amount of hurt. Because that's just the nature of, of this game. You could do some bad damage to people. Annoyingly though, the archers will be able to kill a lot of G militia. So, it will be tough. It will be tough. But the towers should be able to get a lot of work done. So I'm going to give it a go. Definitely going to give it a go. Alright, so... Um, hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll just stuff everyone in where I can. I'm not sure how long they're going to last, honestly. Uh, I might bring him over here. 
because that has more towers covering it technically so maybe I can respond to it a little bit better so uh, I'll put them here they can fill up a gap if need be if I need my towers to do more they can attack sort of either side so I'm kind of happy with them there and we'll just see how this goes just see how it goes I'm not gonna win be very very surprised if I won but that's not what we're trying to do we're just trying to do as much damage as possible so I can follow it up with our already slightly injured army so um, that's the plan here you know that is the plan I might even try and go for their characters hmm. I don't know I'll let, I'll let the towers shoot whatever they like it looks like they are actually headed straight for there which is a problem for sure that is definitely a problem so what I might actually do is march forwards a bit. I think I will. I think I will. I want to get their attention. Although these towers are able to attack as well, which is nice. I like that a lot. Alright, try and go for those mounted sabre cav. And you, you actually go for the G militia, because you can do a lot better against them. And you lot, uh, shoot them. Good. And yeah, they're suffering some damage. Not a huge amount, though. Not as much as I'd like. But uh, these guys are getting shot at too, which is good. But yeah, maybe we'll just go for them. Although it would be nice to whittle down the characters a bit. So yeah, they should be taking a lot of damage. I'm taking a massive amount of damage, though, sadly. But yeah, look at this. This is good. This is good. We're putting in some hurt. Yeah. Yeah, thought they would. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, just try and do damage. The garrison's free. We may as well make it work. May as well make it work. Okay, fine. Yeah, they're routing. Ugh. But these towers are able to get some nice shots in, so that's good. I like that a lot. That's fine. Going to be losing these towers pretty quickly. Although maybe not this one, which is interesting. So... Uh, nah, we're not going to keep that. Never mind. Run over here. Yeah, they're all breaking. Yeah, we got some kills, though. Not as much as I'd have liked, but... It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Yeah, looks like that'll be it. So, nothing great. You know, if we just had shielded units, like spear guards or something, in the front, great. Great. But when it's just G... It's very tough to hold out for long, but the towers do do a lot more damage, it seems, um, in battle than if you're auto-resolving. So I think we still put in more of a dent than we otherwise would have. And that's what I want to do. That's all I want to achieve here. Okay, so, what was the damage? Because, yeah, I want to jump on them next turn. So, okay, that was 500. Oh, damn it, yeah, we lose influence, don't we? I forgot about that. That's a shame. That is a shame. But I've probably been more careful and brought them back, because uh, influence is ruddy useful, and eight is considerable. The fact we can't get it by winning battles is real sad. So we are going to play more defensively in future. I mean, this whole start was a bit sloppy. Um, you know, I wanted to get... I just wanted to get a battle in, you know, with fighting that town. But really, should have waited. Should have been more patient. But, uh, you know, I don't want to just do a let's play where I'm just ending the turn for hours. This is, that's a bit boring. So, but yeah, definitely should have played that smarter given us a better start and then I could do silly things when I have stuff to fall back on but at this point a bit risky so that's fine I don't know who either of them are really uh Tima Yao is now um being succeeded by uh Tima Min Ping all right cool I didn't know who either of them were but good for them and they've now been destroyed cool lost settlement I know someone else declared war on this Tima way coming of age ah Tima Pai is of age. Good. And, oh, we have another kid. We're getting like one kid a year. Awesome. So we have a daughter. We have a daughter. Called uh, Tsima uh, Jinwen. Land grab too. The landlords have their uses and peasants... Really, this is happening again? Okay, the peasants know their place and do as they're told. Yet they accrue ever-increasing power. They abuse it more and more. Corruption is rising under their lazy watch. How to combat it? Uh, send inspectors, which will give us more wealth. But it'll cost us a bit of cash. Or, wow, mad corruption. Yeah, let's send inspectors and get extra wealth. Because uh, that'd be lovely to get some wealth. We're only five off getting that up, which is nice. Yeah, we're getting all of them up a little bit. So that's cool. 
So, sent inspectors over here. Lovely. Did cost us some money, and uh, my word, we are not making much money. This army is costing us far too much. But uh, we can reach here and start starving them out. And yeah, it does look like we have a slightly larger armor than them. Yeah, Pyrrhic victory. It'll be a Pyrrhic victory. Bit of a garrison, nothing much. Um, it's going to take a turn for them to deplete, so I'm going to start starving them out now. They might attack, but that's great, honestly. I could defeat them in, uh, in an open battle pretty happily, I think. So, no worries. We'll just take that. We can take their livestock farm as well. Be nice and easy. Yeah, then we can take all of Chan. That'd be great. Alright, cool. Let's move on. We cannot okay. continue uh, this they want peace with us, and they'll give us a ton of money. We do need a ton of money, but also I want him to die. This is an insult. Because I want that city. I got that town fair and square. So, if they want to attack me, great. Good luck. More power to him. Here we begin. Let us fight to the end. Our bond is forged in the fires of war. Come, son. Come, Fury, to battle. We shall stand amongst their broken corpses before long. All right then. Ah, uh, do do do. Do the usual, and uh, that'll do. Come fight me. Wherever you are. Is that you there, is it? More! Enemy reinforcements are arriving! Yeah, it's no biggie. Don't worry. We will be fine, I promise. We'll be fine. God, I love the lights on these rocks as well. It's just a very nice game. Right, uh... Here they come. Yep, that looks about right. We're getting that. Really? What? You're in an odd formation, guys. This isn't this is an odd formation. Let's let's try that again, shall we? Okay, maybe we can't. Okay, let's go in here and smash them to pieces. Good stuff. Uh, G, get over here. Okay, let's get some missile resist here. No, no, he doesn't. He's fine. Come on, get in there. Mess him up. Okay, good. Now let's get some arch fire on this lot. And let's give everyone some lovely bonuses. Good stuff. You cannot make your mind up, can you? Alright, you get involved too. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, start getting into those archers. And you start getting into them. Great. So yeah, you keep chasing them off. Keep them busy. Okay, how are you lot doing? Yeah, not great against them, honestly. This seems to be going alright though. Although what I might do is actually pull these guys up and out. Okay. Start getting involved over here. Good. Good. That's what I like to hear. And now he's gone mad. That seems to be going alright. But uh, he is getting pretty injured. He is getting pretty injured. Okay, so they're on a way out of a time. You get in over there. Keep chasing if you can. You go for them and them. And, oh, good. Alright, you double back into there. Uh, you give them a little boost. And my archers. And just stand back and shoot whatever they like. So that's going fine. That's going good. You double back. Uh, they still have uh, Team Apu here. <laughs> oh, that sounded rude. Anyway, uh, they still have him. But uh, hopefully we can get into this guy and kill him before he does too much damage. Okay, so that's all great. Cool. Yep, they're chasing them down. Uh, so where's our other cav? Over here. Still chasing them. That's fine. And you can get back in here. Uh, things look a little bit iffy around here, but... 
Nothing too bad. Maybe go for him? No, go for him. Annoying our Axe Bands have run away there, but... It is what it is. So, you lot, all shoot into there, please. God, look at this. Yeah, Cav okay, really struggling back here. Just so many enemies. The enemy warriors are running. Oh my god, they're back, really. Okay, good. That's good. Uh, Alright, soon we can get this going again. Oh, it's a strat just is messing it up. Nope, he's not. We're good. Good stuff. Alright, you lot, move in. You lot, move around the back. And, yep, you shot them. They've held out. They've held out. They have 460 kills. Hell yeah. And them, 12. It's not quite as good, is it? It's not quite as good. Victory! So, yep, told you. Told you we'd win. If it was a nice land battle. Pretty, pretty big losses, though. Pretty big losses. So, not great, but fine. Better than not having a city. I'll put it that way. Picture victory, and it will be yours. Okay, got some cash, got an ancillary. Caught this guy. We could recruit him. I mean, he does have a, a lovely robe and hat. So, there is that. See? Intellectual vestures. You know, that's pretty nice. Although, if we just let him go, um, it'll get us money rather than costing us money. Because our income is ridiculous. I'm not giving him a third of what we have left let the captives go. Um, per turn. That's not ideal. So, let's have a look. Uh, I really need replenishment. I really do. Our army's just knackered. And we need the replenishment to follow up. So, I'd love to go on for income, but... We need we, we need bigger armies. We need our replenishment back. We need our troops back. Okay. Good. So more wars going on. Fine. Uh Tsima Lun against the Jin Empire. Sima Jong against uh uh Shuo Shou not Zhou Zhou Ying Ying Min. Uh alright, more faction regencies going on. And, okay, what's going on here? The siege progresses, but our assaulting forces grow weary and supplies run low. A nearby village, loyal and abundant in resources, could possibly aid us. Shall we call on them to help? Hmm. Okay, so we'll lower the population of Panchan. Um, that's going to be like the temple, right? We don't need a big population there, really. So that might be okay. And it would give us more military supplies, but we have plenty. So you know what? We're fine. We're fine. We don't need that. Uh, we did not need this aid. That village needs supplies more sorely than we do. Well, that's that's sweet, isn't it? Right. Level up. We'll start with uh, Tsima Yue. Uh, mighty knockback. And, uh, ooh, get good charge speed for a retinue. That does sound pretty great. Uh, what else? It's from melee evasion for melee infantry. That's pretty good. An extra bonus experience, which is awesome. He can scare people. I like that. But no, I think we'll go for the charge speed. And more instinct so he can hit harder. Because he cannot hit very hard with his ancient silver sword here. He cannot hit very hard at all. Also, rubbish horses all of our guys have got. You think, you know, these princes have better horses. But nope. Nope. Just no, no decent horses. Hmm. Shame. Uh, he's got mad authority, hasn't he? Good for him. Good for him. Let's actually put his expertise up as well, given that melee evasion. Because she's already got mad expertise, and so does he. So, yeah, we want him to be a bit more resilient too. So, what do we want to give him? So, we were trying to get to uh, composure, so we get the fire arrows and night battle. So, I will get this, just because it's on route. What's it do again? Uh, armor piercing damage and melee attack rate. Yeah, yeah, fine. Sounds good. Okay, so, this should be easy now. So, decisive victory. Demand surrender. Wow, they're just not taking it, huh? Alright. I guess I'll just take it over. You could have surrendered, mate. Could have surrendered. So a bit more cash. We're going to take it over. We're sitting on some cash now. And uh, more faction regency going on. Keeps happening. So, uh, yep, we killed him. We killed him. That's... Eh. Don't really care. So, could put the communal fishing pier up more. Could build this. 
for more income from peasantry. Let's get more income from peasantry. I think that might do me uh, a little bit better. I'm not earning much from peasantry, but... Oh, wow, I'm earning almost nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's pathetic. Just because of this, isn't it? Yeah, 25 income from peasantry. We need to build something that will give peasant income. Really, I just need to upgrade this to a city so we can get an extra building slot. But um, I'm not sure I can afford to do that yet. Not sure I can do that yet. It's going to cost, yeah, 4,400. Whatever. We'll take the next place over. But, uh, yeah, none of this is very good for income. Uh, Don would be good, but Seema Jones right here. Yeah. Yeah, he starts here, I think. So we might have to deal with him soon. I mean, he seems cool with me, but I'm not sure if he's going to be a long-term ally or not, honestly. Might be worth getting rid of him early before he gets too powerful. But, of course, I have no power or money yet. So, I'm going to need to take out some more stuff while I can. Um, so, while it's softer targets around me, I think. You would not need fear us. Uh, not a crash in fact with the real Team Away. Heard what I did to Team Away and he thought, Oh no, I'm also Team Away. This guy's good at fighting Team Aways. I need to I need to ask him if he can have give me a herdsman. So, um, he'll give me some money. He's a non-aggression pact. But also, he's the one that wants to take down the Emperor, right? Who we're trying to defend. So Your that's decision. probably not a good idea to make friends with him now. Because I just won't be able to cross him when he crosses, you know, the whole dynasty. So, yeah. So no, basically. Is what I'm getting at. Uh, right, the border's like right here, which is really annoying. Hmm. I just got to sit there. Replenishment is terrible. Are there reforms that give me replenishment? Hmm. No. I mean, later on. Yeah, so there. But I still need to make, to make it to Prince first. Because I'm still a... Uh, was it Minor Prince? Yeah, I'm still a Minor Prince. Hmm. That's no good. Alright. Alright, let's go to end turn. See what happens, I think. His air replenishment is, is killing us. Always the answer. Uh, Gene Empire. Want to hang out? I want military access. And they'll pay me for it. I just have to give them a ranger's outfit, which honestly I don't think I'll ever use, so go ahead. Your wisdom reveals a kindred spirit. Hmm. I am very wise. He's got a point. Okay. Well, coalition's forming. Don't like the look of that. Also, his vassals are joining some wars. Against uh, Tsima Yin here. Hmm. Okay, more wars going on. Just everyone seems to be called Seema. Uh, to go walk against the Jin Empire, huh? No. No. Uh, Hero's Aid. Interesting. You read a report about one of your generals who beat six enemies single-handedly, largely due to the courage, speed, and loyalty of their horse. Heroes have always had something or someone to help them achieve their rightful destiny. It can be a loyal follower, a trusted steed, a book of wisdom, or a weapon of unique properties, but they all fulfill the same role. Whether it is fate or by your very will and actions, such a thing has come into your possession. The real test is figuring out how to best make use of it, or them, to help you achieve your goal. So what did we get? We got a wooden fish and a jade statue of Confucius. That actually seems pretty good, actually, the jade statue of Confucius. Um, so let's, let's give that to someone. Nope. Government. Need to repair that, huh? Are you earning much money? A little bit. A little bit. Nothing major. Has put my income up. Quite a lot, though. Um, so, yeah. Can I give him that? Give him more cunning, which is nice. Uh, puts up satisfaction a fair bit, though. And it is for the army? Um, it doesn't say, like, when commanding or anything. I think it'll be the whole army. Uh, no matter who we give that to. And, yeah, he's just got that. Yeah, let's give him extra cunning. Because he does have archers, and he will be getting fire arrows. So I think it's important that he does have some cunning for that. And do I want to keep this... God, just all these weapons suck. They suck so much. That was a bit slow, but it hits harder. Eh, whatever, we'll leave it. Um, again, I think we just need to wait a bit, because replenishment is the worst. It is really bad. It's really slowing us down. We're just going to have to carry on, I think. Let us talk trade. Uh, form coalition, they'll pay me. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I accept. This could be the start of something good. Because, yeah, I don't really want to go fight that guy if I don't have to. Uh, they won't join the coalition, but no one cares. We withdraw it, then. <laughs> she sounded really unimpressed. 
Well, oh, my bad. Sorry I asked. Okay. Yep, sure. Sure. I remember that. I was there. Faction development. Scorched Earth. Uh, sorry. Scoured Earth. I read that Scorched Earth before. Scoured Earth. Uh, when war is all-consuming, there is a macabre wisdom in leaving no stone and no body unturned. As the land gives back to the foragers, so too does the battle. Once, uh, once over, give back to the victors. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Well, all right then. The Empress demands war, number one. The whims of the Empress are capricious and often meaningless, yet the meaningless is given meaning by the fact of her position and power. She demands you to declare war on a thus far neutral faction and awaits your response. Who's that then? Uh, Tsima Shangpai. Who's Tsima Shangpai? She is. She is. Luckily, she's on screen. So I don't have to worry about it. That's great. Thank God. Um, she kind of likes me. And I don't know how powerful she is or how much she's got. And she's in Langai, which my coalition buddy might already have started invading. Which is a problem. Um, also, I'm at war down here already. I can offer to fund it, which will just annoy them and cost me a ton. But it'll give me wealth. Uh, wealth alignment. Uh, I think it's gonna be might, right? We need to get this. We need to get this up. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Pretty knackered still. Um, declare war. Let's do it. We'll be the Empress's favourite as well. So, um, we'll get more income and prestige and diplomatic bonus with the gene. So, I don't know. We'll see it. This is probably a horrible idea. Oh, no. Yep, I know. I was there. And, do you want to give me peace now? What do you want? Yeah, they really do. Okay, no worries then. Um, request regular... No, don't want regular food. My bad. Uh, request regular payments. Yeah, I think we can milk this guy. I think we can get a lot of money from him. That's... No, no, really not. That suddenly escalated. Um, let's do that. And... Whoops. And request payment. Just flat out payment. See how high we can get this before it starts just moving up way too quickly. Ugh, again, not very high, huh? Shavy's kind of poor. What else can we get from him? Trade territory. Wait, is that all he has left? Wow. Okay, they have nothing. I might just be able to take it, but... I'd miss out on a lot of things. It's just, I literally can't... All I can get is intellectual vestures. Um... Doesn't seem like I, I can vassal, like, vassalize him or something. What? Use influence to influence this faction, improving their attitude towards one another or towards yourself. Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. It'll cost us a lot of influence, though. So, you know, a bit ridiculous for such a nothing happening. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go alliances. I can invite them to join a coalition. Okay, so peace. And then, yeah, I can't, uh, yeah, I can't get them to, yeah, I can't annex them or anything. I need to be a vassal. Yeah, that's it. And, okay, we need to be Grand Prince before we can start doing that. Okay. Yeah, I just don't know I can get enough from him to make this totally worthwhile, but we'll try. We'll try. So, uh, let's request payment. So let's call it 500 for now. And then we will request regular payments. Which again, we'll call 500. And see how that sits. Um, okay, let's just start putting this up. That's all of his money. Do we have no choice but to put this up? Okay, good. We accept your offer. Thank you. That's helped us out a bit. Financially and um, I shall not waver. just in general. So thanks. Right. All we had to do was kill their faction leader and everyone else. But I mean, they attacked first. So what do you expect, huh? What do you expect? And uh, now we can upgrade one of our cities. So small city, we can get a normal size city over here. Well, small city, or we can upgrade to a normal city. Yeah, that's it. So extra building slot over here. Again, it's all just farmland and things. We don't have any like industry. And they're not great settlements, you know? They're not the best. Because, like, temples not going to really earn us any money. That's the point. What do they do again? Okay, it is a satisfaction. Cool. Okay, it is that. 
Um, but yeah, it's all just farmland right now. We don't have any industry or anything getting us a lot of money, which is a real problem. It's just not a great area to start, I find. Um, so yeah, we would like to push into here. It doesn't look like he's going to Langai at all. So if we hurry, we can take all of Langai province. I think that's probably the best thing we could do right now. Um, yeah, annoyingly no iron mine, and that again will just be mostly farms, but it's more territories that we need to defend. Because uh, we won't have to defend this very well, like much, if we've got a coalition with our neighbours here. Um, no one else is going to threaten it, so it's actually really good for us. But yep, they're going to sit there for a second, and then we're going to attack Langai. So, what else can we get? Hmm. Yeah, recruitment cost always good. Uh, military supplies, though, it will let me get the replenishment quicker if we happen to hit Prince in a hurry. I mean, we are quite close to ticking that off, so we'll see. Uh, we'll try and get that first, doing so it the replenishment one, because that 5% would make would be so no much difference. Not aggression pact, and that will give us money. Ooh, thanks, Timo Yong. That sounds really good, actually. Um, it's only 90. I mean, it's not much, right? They give us 900 over the course of 10 turns. But they're paying us for us not to have to worry about fighting them. And I think that's a, a big deal. Meeting. Okay, cool. Moving on. Okay, so Song Wei declared war on Tsima Mo. Tsima Wei declared war on uh, Song Wei. Tsim Yong requested Tsima Yo join their war. And the Jin Empire signed a peace treaty with uh, Xu Jiping. So, um, hopefully that meant something to you. I still don't really remember all of the characters' names, so I have no idea who half these people are, really. Um, so that's great. People of merit. Wow, a lot of people of merit here, huh? A lot of people of merit. Also, I don't know anything about this history. Um, you know, this period of history. So I have no idea if any of these guys are, like, massive names that I need to be hiring immediately. But the fact their portraits look generic, I'm assuming not. You know? Just gonna assume. So, we can reach the city now. So, I'm gonna do the old trick. Right click, and then you press backspace to cancel their order as they're moving, and it means they're taking the shortest route. So if you end up actually attacking, you don't have to move and hope you've moved the shortest route between the two points. It'll just make sure you're still on the shortest route. So, very Not useful that. Um, so, small city has a bit of a garrison. Uh, I mean, there's a bit of a garrison here as well. Flaming arrows, too. So he has to go. Yeah, she's got him too. Yeah, this army has to go. So, <laughs> let's get involved. Victory belongs to us. Good. Be close defeat, apparently. But I'm just going to starve them out. They're probably going to attack me. You know? They're probably going to attack, attack me. Because they are suffering attrition immediately. So they almost certainly will attack and have to fight them. Which... Yeah, I'm kind of fine with. I think we'll do okay. It won't be the best thing in the world, but we'll give it a go. Because we need to start making progress through here before this guy does. Um, yeah, we need to make sure we're ahead of uh, Tima Jong. Yeah, Tima Jong. So yeah, we need to get ahead of the curve. Oh, no, he's heading that way. I hope he's not heading here. That would be a Pyrrhic victory if they attack us. Um, yeah, fine. Let's uh, Let's fight this battle. Any obstacle can be overcome by our unyielding spirit. None can stop us, especially not these loathsome fools. I advise caution. We do not yet know our enemy. It is time we finally settled the score. Right, let's do this. Oh yeah. So I think uh, I think Tima Tima Yue, he's uh, he's I'm I'm liking him I'm liking him so far. This campaign, uh, yeah I, I I started off playing a bit cavalier, but uh, yeah it seems an interesting one so far. I'm I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. I mean it's not like I'm going to quit, but I like to give a bit of a running review. I know you can't really go by much. It's just a feeling. I feel like I'm going to enjoy this campaign. So we'll see. Alright, let's get it stuck in. Uh, this is where everyone starts running in weird directions, isn't it? Yeah, you guys just, just go there, I guess. Just go there. It's fine. And uh, let's speed things up. Right. 
go. I do love that you can always see the cities nearby. Because that's off the map, you see. That's off the map. Can't even see the map's edge. Oh, there it is. So yeah, here's the map's edge. This weird, smoky, inky, um... Thing. God, imagine seeing this in real life. It'd be like the Truman Show. I think this would be evidence that you're in the Truman Show if you see something like this in real life. In a big line. Weird sort of force field. But like, this isn't real, is it? You guys watch the Truman Show? It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Classic Jim Carrey. Back when people would just hire him to be Jim Carrey, you know? Right, so... Yeah, it looks like they're coming to attack me, huh? Oh, well, they are the attackers. So I didn't really have to move, but... I mean, I was obviously going to move. Let's get stuck in. Except with them. And again, like, I need to be putting my G on the edges. I really do. Over this side, don't have to worry. But, uh, yeah, I do need to avoid them. Do not need to run that far around. So let's do that. <laughs> Lovely. Very useful little ability, that. Really good uh, area of effect as well. Really good area of effect. You know what? I'm shooting at all the right things right now. Good. But God, the charge speed on my unit is amazing. So good. Absolutely love it. Alright, you need to get involved there. Do you my axemen were getting so wrecked? That's pretty upsetting, honestly. Don't like it when my axemen are getting wrecked. Uh, yeah, you go deal with them. Okay, that's all good. <laughs> China will revel in your death, and then his response is shut up and die. It's just not very snappy, is it? It really isn't. Oh, you get stuck in over there. Uh, yeah, you get stuck in over here. Actually, go fight those Saber Militia. And yep. Look at that charge speed. So good. Really impressive. Yeah, I'm really glad I made the choice I did for buffing charge speed. I really just want to get a bunch of cavalry now. It's just shame cavalry is so pricey. It is not cheap. But yeah, look how quick they're going. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful stuff. So yeah, they broke immediately. Lovely stuff. Good. Yep, you're dealing with them. Uh, don't really know who I want these guys to attack now. So let's just cancel their firing orders, put them on fire at will, and see what they end up shooting at. Good. Also, you buff them. Cool. Alright, you charge down into them. Yeah, you keep going for them. You get involved over there. You guys can keep chasing. That's always good news. I like that a lot. You keep dealing with them. Nice rear charge here. Uh, you've been struggling a little bit, which I'm not that much of a fan of. Yeah, you go kill these strategists. No worries at all. Alright, they're wavering, so charge them. Uh, I'd rather not charge cabbage spear spearguards, even when they are wavering. Spear guards can hurt a lot. Okay, good. G, though, they're a bit more flimsy. But they'll, they'll go down pretty quickly. So yeah, they're all starting to waver. Lovely. Jobs are good. So how many kills with the cab this time? 300 and 585. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I want more cav. Speaking of uh, cavalry kills, there's some more over there for you. Cheers, boys. Good. Good. He's nice and quick, too. Love it. Victory. Oh, they gave up. No chance to kill them. Never mind. Let's claim the victory. I think it's a pretty easy thing to claim. You know, we did just get a victory. You know, it's not like we're making it up. It's a very easy claim to make. So let's see the damage. I actually think we did pretty well there. I don't think we lost many at all. So, 587. Not bad. Not bad. So they lost 2,700. Yeah, sorry. I think you need to die. Although it would be great to get a decent strategist, wouldn't it? 
That would be really useful. His base salary is actually quite low. A lot of people have been asking for like 200. But he is quite old. But he is handsome. Hmm. So, you know, there is that. He's composed. He's ascetic. Ascetic. Hmm. I don't know. It would be nice to have a good... Good strategist. Yeah, I'm going to employ him. We I want a good strategist. Um, and remember, this isn't the Hurt Ye campaign. You know, I, I have the option to recruit them, so... Just killing them all on sight isn't quite as necessary as it once was. So, right, let's go with replenishment. Thrust with conviction and, strike and, uh, what's this? They want to buy a wooden fish. Um... I mean... Yeah, I'll sell you a wooden fish, Our why not? About you proved true. I just want to win him over. I'm feeling generous because I just want to battle. Otherwise, like, no, wooden fish is useful. I can put up satisfaction on a general that I recruit that might not be that happy. Like the guy I just recruited who's probably not very happy. Uh, nope, he's actually in, yeah, he's in good... Yeah, he likes the faction. Okay, he's he's having a whale of a time. Brilliant. Brilliant, honestly, that's, that's great news, thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, hmm. Ignore forest penalties, which is kind of cool, but also better chance of avoiding ambush, and that is with the whole army. So that's pretty useful. I do like the sound of that. Um, also, I guess I could put some stat up, couldn't I? Should I put up instinct a little bit, so just a little bit more damage, or should I just really lean into the expertise? That's right, I'd already made my mind up. We're leaning into the expertise. Now let's take Lungai. So, uh, yep, yeah, it's going to be close victory. Fine by me. Celebration is oh, we lost a thousand. Yes, we lost two G. Ridiculous. All right, Our we'll take that. Grows. And, yep, yeah, new new person taking over the faction. And, oh, damn it. That's who I just won over. Oh. We got treaties, do we? We have a non-aggression pact? Oh. Great. Well... Who owns this? No idea. We can at least take the lumber yard. That makes a bit of money. Uh, and this is going to cost a lot to repair, isn't it? What a nuisance. Real nuisance, that is. Um, also, these two, I might actually uh, swap them out for something else in, since they're so injured. Could get more shoe raiders. These guys are very good. I do really like these guys. They've been doing quite well for me lately. Um, although, if I'm going to get them, I'd probably get them for this guy. What is everybody? I mean, it would be good, right? Hmm. No, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him be. I I need to keep my income up. Cause that's something I'm not doing very well at. So we'll build a small city over here too. Start getting more building slots. And hopefully we can actually start building buildings that will benefit us, uh, benefit our income. Cause it's proving a little bit iffy. Remain but uh, yeah, we should take this out. It'll take us a couple of turns to get to by the looks of it. Maybe not, actually. Yeah, it will. It will. Um, hmm. I don't want to swap them out, then. I mean, it's only a lumber yard. I think we'll be fine. We'll see. Okay. Alright, cool, whatever. Uh, power increases. Okay, we're a prince now. That's really good news. That's really good news. So we've established yourself as a uh, worthy power. Your achievements have marked you out as one to watch, but the Tsima clan is vast. You will need to progress further if you want to prove yourself a worthy contender for the Regency. Of course, if you have a little time for such titles and legitimacy, you can always seek to put yourself on the throne by force. Hell yeah. Uh, noble birth. Why have we got another one? She's just, just popping them out. This is madness. I mean, this is every season we're getting a new kid, it seems. Which is mad. That's not how... That's not how childbirth works. You can't do that. You can't just pop one out every three months. Um, joyous occasion, a daughter's been born. New blood keeps the line strong, but may also give rise to jealousy if other siblings feel their own position is threatened. Yeah, they're always like that. Wow, that's actually a mission now. The time has come. You've gained sufficient influence. You can now make your move on the capital of Ouyang. Conquest is the most direct route, but diplomatic annexation may also be possible. I mean... Be crazy if someone actually just gives it up. Welcome. Let's find out. Come hey, in. mate. Do you want to be annexed? Huh? Do you like to get annexed? Doesn't look like I can. 
Oh, because I have to actually do the entire Jin Empire. So, it says it's time, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Although, we can get a nice trade agreement, can't we? Don't you go to Quick Deal? Yep, fine. Uh, trade agreement. Set Jin Empire's game, and they seem to be giving us the best rates. Oh, nope. Sima Yong seems to be giving me the best rates. He's up here somewhere. Um, there's a chance I might end up at war with this guy. He's very powerful. I go to Jin Empire for now. Try and win him over. So, let's sign that deal. A reasonable offer. I think so. I think so. So now, we're making a good bit of cash. Wow, this has really turned around. I'm very happy with this. Uh, I'm very happy with how this has turned. Because things are looking real grim. Uh, so we go get more influence here. Let me influence per turn. Possibly. Our influence is pretty low. I don't like that much at all. Um, hmm. But yeah, getting this up would be great. It would help with research rates and all sorts. That That's a big deal. Plus 50% fact, like building upkeep faction-wide is huge. Yeah, we need to get this up. We need to get this up higher. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I think. It's only one influence. Two influence when you get there. So it lowers corruption further. It doesn't really do anything until we rank it up a couple of times. Uh do I want to start that building chain? I don't think I want to yet. I don't think I want to yet. And can't build anything else. We're building cities. Uh, right. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just because uh, the garrison is keeping people happy for the most part uh, right now. But yeah, buildings are making the nobles angry. Uh, wow, minus eight... <laughs> Minus eight noble support, yeah. Building's only minus three for noble support. So what is putting up noble support? Oh, the lodges. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it'd be nice to re put that higher. What do we need for that? This one. We do that first. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we are going for this one, though. Is the thing. So I'm assuming he's doing that one first. And it will do that afterwards. We'll find out. We'll find out. But yeah, we need to do that. Because, yeah, look at this. It's taking so long. Eight turns to replenish that. It, that would have taken a turn by the end of the Ho Yi campaign. And I'm really just used to that. But yeah, I need to be a lot more careful, guys. Yeah, look at this. They've got all of this. It's very annoying. It's only a fishing port. Don't necessarily need just more food. Coalition became, became a military alliance, huh? Well, that could be a problem later down the line. If he's sort of consolidating Thrust power like that. Um, so that's the quickest route. And can I get there in one turn? Apparently I can. Oh, no, I can't. Alright, well, I'm just going to stand there then. Cool. It's exactly where I want it to be. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to have to finish these guys off now, I think. Now i got the city. I need I need something else to back it up. So, more regencies happening. Is it you guys? Uh, Su Ying, uh, Ying Min and Gong Shanang. So, which one are you? Either? Gong Shanang. Okay, so yeah, that, that person just died. But obviously, we still got that deal with them. And this guy's conquering their land. Okay. Well, they're going to be gone soon. That's a shame. Uh, okay, noble support will be annoyed. We'll put up mind. We can put up might if we arrest him. Ooh, subtle. Oh, yeah, subterfuge. I don't care about that. We never managed to pull that off. So, an unsavory source. Politics is a game of popularity as much as it is of substance. An official loathed by his people approaches you and offers valuable information. However, he demands you publicly honor him for it. For it. Really? Uh, uh I'm gonna arrest him. You cannot be bought. Your integrity is, is beyond his offer. You have arrested for his crimes. Yeah. Suck it. I'm mighty. Um, okay, he's got level up. So let's get those uh, night battles and fire arrows. Lovely. Love to see that. Big fan. And let's go take this lumber yard. Uh, decisive defeat, huh? Wow. Ooh, yeah, that's quite a good garrison. 
That is quite a good garrison. This could be a really tough battle, actually. Uh, but we are starving them out. So hopefully they'll just sit there and starve for a bit. Instead of attacking us, that would be good. Wouldn't it? Um, we'll find out. We'll find out. But we do have some more stuff to build, which is good. So, they're upset with us. Yep, nobles are angry with us. But this will put up noble support. The schools, which is good. Uh, we already have the other two buildings, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, what is going to make nobles happy? That will. Oh, the military stuff will. Right? No. Oh, not with this campaign, apparently. God, it is hard to keep up noble support. There seem to be so few buildings that do it. I mean, the school will. Yeah, as long as I really want that. Because it won't make me any money. And that is a problem. Hmm. In fact, the shopkeeper actually puts down noble support. My word. So that doesn't... Uh, this doesn't... This doesn't... Yeah, this is a nuisance. Hmm. Oh, big increase the research rate there, which is very nice. Uh, God, just ruins noble support. What puts it up? This is ridiculous. The inn, plus 10 noble support, ton of money, plus 12 noble support, a little bit less money. Hmm. Marketplace, nobles hate that. Schools, goes up by five. Hmm. It's just not great. I really don't know how I'm going to keep the nobles happy. Uh, for, like, any of this. So, yeah, I think I need to do land development. You know? God, and even some of the land development ones don't... don't keep the nobles happy either. It's only if you do the magnate estates. Jeez. This is going to be a real problem, I think. But land development plus two noble support. We're going to have to. Need to keep them happy. Need to keep them happy somehow. That's a pain. I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? We'll give me some, yeah, some money from peasantry. So, you know, that's okay. And yeah, I really hope I win this fight. Really hope I do. Hmm. All right, I think we're good for the turn. I think we're good for the turn. Together, we can uh, seize glory. All right, they want military support against these guys. They want to pay me, but uh. uh it would give me a good excuse to take Langai, but given the fact that I can barely deal with this one siege, I don't think I can do that. Even with the money he's giving As me, it's prefer. just not going to do it. So, sorry, buddy. Oh, and it would make me treacherous, because I've got a non-aggression pact with them. So, decisive defeat, huh? You know, I kind of believe that, actually. I kind of believe that. I think I need to ambush this army. So, I think I have to retreat. Fall back. Rather irritatingly. That is annoying. That is annoying for sure. So, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is move here. Here? Here. I'll move here. I'll ambush. Go and ambush stance. That way I've still got replenishment. Eight turns until fully replenished. It's awful. I need that. That. I need that. I mean, that 5%, it doesn't seem like much, but that will more than double my replenishment rates, I think. I mean, what is the base one? Yeah, 4%. Well, 8% in total, but still. It's pathetic. That 5% is huge. Um, compared to, like, what I've got. It's so bad. So, military provisions. No army can march indefinitely, yet the well-supplied and well-prepared force will outpace and outfight lesser adversaries. The land provides for those seeking sustenance. Raiding as much as any prepared supplies will sustain an army. A new year begins, a new opportunity to steer your people towards their destiny. Alright, sounds good. So yeah, um, I think that'll be it for today. I think that'll be it for today. And we'll kind of figure this out. Um, hopefully these guys will fall for the ambush. And hopefully replenishment rates will get somewhere that is bearable soon. And we can actually start using some momentum. Um, also, nobles, just be happy nobles. Let's actually have a little look. Is there anything that puts on noble support? Because it just seems they just will not be happy. 
no matter what I do. Like, any buildings just seem to annoy them. So yeah, nothing at prints. Let's have another look. Cool. So I do have some other... Ah, okay. Nope, that's only for the administered commander with that plus 11 noble support. So maybe that won't work. As a chancellor, he'll be happy. Be faction-wide peasant income, provincial advisor, lows corruption for local commandery. Okay, how about for this? Um... Oh, so there, that puts up noble support. He doesn't. It's all very different. That put up commerce income, which is kind of awesome. Extra armies available, low corruption. Okay, so the positive, uh, the position effects are the same. Construction cost, population growth. Hmm. But yeah, he'll he'll keep nobles happy, wherever he is. Which is kind of good. Hmm. That is nice. But, he can put up income from a bunch of different sources, as well as add food production, and population growth, construction costs, just a lot of stuff, and it will really cheer him up too. So, I might make him an administrator. In... Uh... Donkai? I mean, it's kind of my capital, so, you know probably have that covered. Um, you it's just going to put your savile, sal uh, salary up a ton and do nothing. Well, I mean, peasantry income, but I mean, who cares? Again, it's just the position effects. So I don't know why anyone would be Chancellor. Chancellor's just going to cost you more because that is such a tiny percentage bonus to peasantry. Hmm. That lowers corruption. Just in local commandery, which is weird. So I don't know. Might just leave him there. Got our advisor, the charge speed, and the satisfaction. I wonder. Uh, yeah, it's not showing me what their positions would be. Mm -hmm. Also, Gong Zhang is a legendary. Doesn't look it. So, clearly had some nice items, and then the faction kept them. So, uh, yeah, never mind. Alright, that'll do for today then. I know I said that four minutes ago, but now I mean it. So that'll do for today, and we'll try and figure out how to keep the nobles happy. But, you know, until then, we'll just try and get as much money as possible, and hopefully it won't matter. Because if we have a rebellion, we'll just crush it. Maybe that's a nice way to do it. Ignore them completely, and just try and get as much influence as possible. Because we are getting this up slightly. It is on its way up. And as soon as we get rid of that, actually, um, the, you know, bad research rates, the bad building upkeeps, everything, that will really help us out. So, yeah, if we can start getting influence up, I think we'll be in pretty good spot. So we'll just work on that for a bit, I think. Oh, wow, and when that gets fully to the top, you actually get mind alignment per turn as well. Oh, interesting. Ooh, we actually got might up. So we do have the extra campaign movement range as well. That's very cool. That's very cool. So anyway, guys, that'll be it. Now I really mean it. I know I said it six and two minutes ago, but now I really mean it. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.